Topping the ball is one of the most frustrating shots in golf, and it's usually pretty close to hitting a good shot. Instead of the leading edge hitting underneath the equator of the ball and finding the sweet spot, the ball flies beautiful. We're hitting the leading edge above the equator of the ball. The ball doesn't fly at all. So, in this video, we're going to give you the three main causes of the top shot, the tilting top, Ooh. the towering top, and the tension top. I'll give you three easy fixes and stay to the end because I'll give you two bonus practices which will make you master striking the ball properly. I'm Andrew Cullen and this is Golf Yourself to Life. Now we can explain all these three top shots with geometry. If we understand the geometry, we get the picture, we get the solution, and then we get the feel for what needs to happen. So let's deal with the tilting top first of all. It's all related to the sternum position. The sternum, the middle of your rib cage, is where the lowest point of your hand swing will be. I can't swing the hands any lower than when they're opposite the sternum. So the low point of the club head is going to be where the sternum is at impact. So if the sternum's moving backwards through strike, the low point's in the wrong place. If the sternum's moving forwards at strike, the low point's going to be further forwards. A lot of people talk about weight shift, but this is the guy that needs to be under control. So if the sternum, which moves behind the ball in the backswing, is turning to the ball or ahead of the ball at strike, the low point's in the right place. I got a very good chance of striking the ball properly. So here's the tilting top. <laughs> it was a beauty. The sternum's in the wrong place. The low point's in the wrong place. I'm not gonna get underneath the equator of the ball. And here's the sternum moving forward. So we get the sternum here at impact. The sternum's moving forward. Bingo. Easy to get the leading edge of the club underneath the equator of the ball. So if you're a tilting topper, here's two exercises to do to get you the feeling of where the sternum needs to be at strike. Here's setup position, strike position. Come to the edge of the driving range mat, put your club down behind it. Here's setup position, move the sternum a little forward so we're turning. Here's strike position. So we're pressuring into the mat. Setup, strike, set up strike so we start to get a picture and a feel for where the body should be in the strike position here's the second practice use the logo or stripes if you're on the driving range place them forward to your target and try and keep your eyes here if we lose sight of the logo or the stripes then I'm tilting backwards so we want to keep that in view from start to strike all right so red stripes forward so if I tilt back I can't see the stripes anymore. So if I stay forward, I see the stripes, see the stripes, see the stripes, see the stripes. Bingo! Underneath the equator. Now if you're a towering topper, it's also a geometry exercise. Think of the spine and its distance to the ball. The spine is basically the axis of the swing. So if the spine stays in the same place, the geometry is correct. We come back and strike the ball properly. But if the spine position is moving before strike, the towering top or sometimes called early extension, so the spine is moving up, the hips are moving forward to try and stay in balance, then we're usually going to top the ball from there. So we have to get control of the spine position or the posture and stay in posture longer to strike the ball properly so the towering top we're losing our posture too early might even be a fresh air shot and if we stay in posture then we will be able to strike the ball pure so how do we stay in posture okay so two exercises to solve the towering top first 
grab a post or your golf bag or a trolley, place it behind you, get your butt in contact. And so what we're trying to do to maintain your spine angle from start to strike is stay in contact with whatever's sitting behind you. So as if I keep my posture position constant, I keep sitting back, the spine, the geometry of the exercise is correct, and I should hit underneath the equator of the ball. So push back, push back, push back. We keep the spine angle the same, we keep the posture the same, we strike the ball properly. All right, second solution for the towering top is to feel that the right shoulder is going to move to the left foot as you're making the downswing. Don't let the right shoulder go to the ball. That will cause the body to straighten up. So here's the bad one. Is this right shoulder going to the ball? Again, with the weight throwing forward, the pelvis has to react. Otherwise, we fall flat on our face. So if we get the right shoulder moving down towards the left foot, it's easy to stay in posture, keep your pressure against the bag, pole, whatever it is you have behind you. All right, so right shoulder to left foot, not right shoulder to ball. That will stay. We can stay easily in posture and strike the ball underneath the equator. Okay, number three and the most common problem when it comes to topping, the tension top. Let's zoom in and see what's happening down here. So if I got my club head behind the ball at the start, that's where we want to come back to. But I tighten up the grip now, as tight as I can. All the muscles in my arm are shorter. And the shortening of the muscles is enough to bring the, the leading edge of the club up a couple of centimetres and suddenly we hit above the equator of the ball rather than below the equator of the ball. So we've got to get the grip pressure light and the same throughout the swing to be able to come back and strike the ball properly. So if I tense up during strike, full top, it's gone about 50 metres. And if I try and keep the forearms and hands more relaxed from start to finish, much more chance of getting the leading edge underneath the equator of the ball. So take the tension out of your hands and arms. Okay, so here's the two bonus tips I promised you. Number one is what I call hit some small shit. If we can hit some small stuff that's lying on the ground, then there should be no problem getting the leading edge under the equator of the ball. So home in here, and let's have a little look. All right, so seed first. Let's not think about too much about how we're doing it. Let's just try and swipe it away. Broken T second. Easy, easy. Let's go with the leaf, number three. And so, Again, if I can sweep away these things fairly easily, when we come to the ball, there should be no problem getting the leading edge underneath the equator of the ball. All right, and second tip to get your ball striking really pure, draw a line in the sand, get to the fairway bunker on the driving range, and we're trying to hit on the line and beyond the line and not behind the line. So again, purely we'd be striking ball divot. So that's what we're after. So if we can hit the line and then after the line, then we should get some really pure strikes. Take that. Okay, so we just put the ball in the way, slightly ahead of the line, and we should get the ball nice and pure underneath the equator. Perfect. Hope that's given you clarity on how to effectively get rid of the top shots. If you're suffering from any more disaster shots, check out this video here.